Hey, welcome back to Road to Clubs, the docu series where you follow me, comedian Dan Alano, as we make our way to selling out comedy clubs. All right, now this one, uh, not going to be a lot of comedy because we got car problems, all right? Now, now here's what's pissing me off because I recently took my car in, and every time I take my car into this one Kia auto shop, I always come back with problems. Like last time I took it in, uh, leaving the lot, my car battery dies. So I don't trust these assholes. Um, so, but here's a, another problem. I'm a comedian. I'm not a goddamn mechanic. <laughs> so, oh, instead of spending $7,000 with what they're going to charge me, we're just going to do it ourselves, okay? We're going to try open. Well, not try, but we are. Uh, we're going to open this shit. Yeah, maybe we're going to have troubles over them. All right, one. <laughs> one second, motherfucker. Who? It was at the, it was at this moment where I'm like, all right. I knew I was soft, but you're having trouble opening this goddamn wow, wrench packet, bro. This is gonna be a long day, turn. dog. And it was. It, it it was a long day. <sighs> Keep that thing on me. Why do they? Why do they? Why do they make packaging? So fucking like you, you're not able to to take it out without destroying the whole thing. You're like, oh, you can't return it, you whores, mother of God. Also, I here's the thing. I know nothing about cars, but it's something I want to know more about. Especially someone from the south. Anyone from the south knows you need a car to go anywhere. So if you're having car problems, it's over. It's a wrap. Or whoever did the packaging for this, make my car next time. Because it'll last longer. It was so secure. I mean, who's stealing wrenches? Who's stealing wrenches? When you go to AutoZone, it's like one person in there. It's you and the employee. They're going to know if you're stealing. All right. So first, I got to check to see if the spark plugs are actually messed up. Um, so that's what I'm about to do. Have I ever done this before? Hell no. It's a first for everything, bro. But I don't know how to do it, so we're looking it up. I'm so nervous. So I was very nervous I was going to mess it up. I was very nervous. I didn't want to, because again, like I said, you're in the South, you don't have a car, you're done though. There's no, there's no public transportation down here. You, who, you think people really use in MARTA? No. I mean, people do use MARTA, but they only use it to go to Atlanta United games. And we know those type of people. But I think this is, this is part of, you just new to it. Because I was very, I'm very new to all this. So, I didn't know how much pressure I could apply. Uh, it's it's like when you're first, when you're first with a woman, you don't know how much pressure you can apply, and then and then and then sometimes you're too 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 soft, and then sometimes you're too too hard. But the more you do it, you become Goldilocks, and you find you find what's just right. That's a tip. Okay. Ah, we're doing something. Oh, shit. So the battery's disconnected, so I can't die. So now we gotta take the cover off. Alright. So let's take this cover off. Alright, we're struggling. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. Look. I gotta link the YouTube video that I watched in the comments, because whoever that dude was a lifesaver. Uh, saved my life because yeah, I didn't know what I was doing because I would have just gone straight in, going straight to the to the to the to the spark plugs, not knowing I had to disconnect the battery, and then this there would have been three episodes of Road to Clubs that would have been it. There was, this wouldn't have been like a One Piece long series. No, this would have been <laughs> this would have been Promise Neverland one season. We're done. So we took it off. Alright, so this is what we're looking at. I believe these are the spark plugs. So that's what we gotta check. Yeah, now and then here's the problem. I was watching the video as I went, 
when I probably should have watched the video in its entirety first. Because then I came upon the fact that I don't have all the tools. I thought I just needed that socket wrench or whatever the fuck it's called. I'll look it up. But whatever it's called, I thought I just needed that. So that's when I knew, oh, I'm like, oh, I'm screwed. Because now I don't have the tools and I just have an open spark plug. My, my spark plug was open like the goddamn vent in the Death Star. I was like, all it took was one B to fly in there. My car has exploded. So I was like, okay, damn. So it looked clean. But I still, I didn't take it out. So I still need to see. I'm going to have to walk or run to the store. I got to go. I got to, I got to, I got to go get the tools. So this is this this day is getting even longer because at this point, at this point, I'm like two hour, two three hours in, because it was like forty minutes to get the goddamn socket wrenches out, and then it was another like hour and a half of just figuring getting the the battery undone and stuff like that. But you can see. You can see there's hope waiting because <laughs> it's a lot of stuff I messed up. So I'm like, okay, let's see if we can actually fix this. Oh, also, yeah, I didn't even have spark plugs. I don't know what I was doing. What was I doing? I didn't even have spark plugs. I was just opening my thing to look at it. What was I? Was I planning to actually take the spark plugs out and then? Bro, plan ahead, but we don't, we just spontaneous. We don't, we don't, whatever. Prefrontal cortex not developed yet. We just do, okay? We just do. Because, yeah, I don't know what the hell is I'm thinking. I, I didn't even have the spark plugs. What the fuck? But, yeah, stay tuned. Next episode, we're going to, we're going to fix this bitch. I promise you, we're going to fix this bitch. I'll be damned <laughs> if I'm at this next episode. I'm just sitting here talking to y'all because uh, I want to be out.